what's up and welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to be doing a treatment on my skin it is much needed my cheeks were breaking out like crazy my forehead and of course I popped the pimples which you should never do but anyway I was having some stress related acne and then I furthered that by popping those pimples improperly and now I have a lot of scarring more than I did even a couple months ago um, so it's kind of like a refresh and restart I've really honed in on my diet um, my exercise on just some internal things that really in my stress stress number one on some internal things that really affect acne um, so now those breakouts have minimized I may have a few but they're nowhere near as much as they were before we're gonna get right into the video if you're not already make sure you subscribe as well as give this video a thumbs up I know I gotta get all the cliche stuff out of the window. Um, and if you want more skin tips or more information, you can always follow me on Instagram at Naja, N-A-S-I-A. -S -S it's pronounced Naja. <laughs> Monique, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E. It'll be linked in the video, it'll be in the down bar. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the peel process. So next we are going to get into the peel. I am using a peel, it's called Scentsy Peel. That Petri dish in the brush and I have a mirror down here. And I'm just going to take, take this, starting at my forehead. There are so many ways to apply peels. The main thing is that it's an even layer all the way around. And don't do this at home, you need a professional. I am licensed to use this product. I would say the activity is about a three, maybe not, maybe a two. Um, so I'm going to wait until all the activation goes down and I'm at a zero out of five um, And then I'm gonna go ahead and do layer number two Okay, so the activity has settled down now and I'm going to go in with Layer number two. Oh, this is also a peel that you leave on So you don't remove this the client leaves with it on and then I'm not gonna wash my face or cleanse my skin until later on tonight. It is morning here, what, 10, 20 or so. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it on all day. And depending on what my activities are for today, I may or may not cleanse until tomorrow morning. So let's go in with layer number two. And I'm gonna start in the same place that I started before. That is the peel. I definitely feel some activation this time around in the forehead area and like right in here maybe, somewhere in here, around here and like right over here. So I do feel some more activation. I also feel that my lips are dry as hell. And even though it has been a while since I did a peel, my skin is conditioned. Ooh, look at that, mm -mm. that dryness. I need to get that. Give me the fan. I'm seeing about a four now. I'm 
comfortable saying a metaphor. I still feel a little bit of activity, but nothing like I did before. It's just right in these areas. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. In the meantime, I know that I am going to be using um, two correctives for this treatment. I'm gonna be using a CNE Strength, and um, that's just vitamin C. And um, it helps brighten the skin. It's an antioxidant, so it helps um, against free radicals. And then I've never tried this before. Um, it's a retinol. It's the intensive, intensive clarity treatment. I have the brightening one at home. You do not spot treat with retinol. You don't want to work out immediately after a peel because um, you don't want to bring heat to your skin and to your face and cause some irritation. And then you also do not want to do any waxing, any picking or plucking or anything because you can cause some damage, some breakouts. Um, so now I'm going to go in with Rebalance, which is just a moisturizer, and it helps bring your skin back to um, its pH, it helps hydrate it, and it's very lightweight. I look like a glowing freaking disco ball. I should have probably given my skin more time to absorb the product, but... My camera's about to die, so I'm trying to get y'all this. Um, and then SPF, and I'm using um, oh, an SPF by Dermalogica just because my face, I don't want it to be looking white and ghastly and ghost-like. And I just pat that around. Is that, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I am feeling activated or was feeling activated I feel like I'm gonna peel so if I start to peel I will give you guys an update on what that is looking like but so far this is my skin post peel you can see my pigmentation that I'm talking about over here is not as bad but post peel number one. I'm not quite sure what happened to the ending footage for this video, but I just wanted to hop on and kind of end the video and thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.